Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a few things that I want to show you. A little small haul video. Um, some of them are some products that I purchased. Some of them are some PR products. Um, I have a product that my daughter gave me. And um, then I have also the giveaway winners that I want to announce. One is for the Share Perfume. The other one is the um, Mugwort Mask winner that I'm going to announce. And I also have a um, giveaway that I'm going to be doing at the end of the video. So let's get started because my little grandsons are going to be here in about 20 minutes or so. So we got to get to snapping through this video. So um, let's start with the two PR products that were sent to me. One is from Avon. I was so excited when this showed up on Octoly, which is where I get a lot of my PR products. And um, because my friend Annie, who is an Avon rep, and in my description box, I always have her information linked. And so if you ever need an Avon rep, that information is always in my description box. And you're thinking, well, I, you know, I don't live by her. She can't be my Avon rep. Uh, yes, she can because she has an Avon e-store where you can always order with her um, on the internet. But she has a YouTube channel and she always does um, videos where she goes over the brochure every week, every two weeks, you know, with the new campaigns, which I don't think they're called campaigns anymore. But anyway, she can hook you up. But anyway, this lipstick, the, um, the man... Mattitude lipsticks popped up, and she's she was always talking about them. I'm thinking, I want to try those because I personally like a liquid lipstick over any other type of lipstick because I'm not the type of person that wants to reapply my lipstick throughout the day. I want to put it on and forget about it. I don't want to have to pull it out and keep redoing it, redoing it, redoing it. I like something that I put it on and maybe once during the day I would have to retouch it and that would be like after I ate lunch or something like that. And so um, I applied for this and Avon accepted my request and so they sent to this to me complimentary to review here on the channel. And of course the color I picked was red and this is the color Relentless. Um, the retail price on this is around $12, but of course, you know, Avon runs all kinds of sales, so you may be able to get a little bit cheaper than that. But it's non-drying. It is a soft matte liquid lipstick. Um, it's got poppy seed oil and vitamin E in it, so it's very soothing and hydrating. Um, it's very light and airy. It, of course, is the color that I have on my lips, and it has the little doe foot applicator which is kind of typical, but it is has a little bit of a different shape to it. I don't think you'll be able to see that on here with the way that my um, camera is set up and everything, but it's kind of got a little bit of an, an angle, a little bit of a slant to it, so it kind of helps fit the lips a little bit better so that you're able to get a little bit more of a precise uh, application which is what I did here, so it was a little bit easier for me to apply. I do have it over a lip liner, but that's just me. I like to do everything with the lip liner. So anyway, I did get this, and I really do like it. There's other colors, of course, to choose from, but like I said, I, I chose a red, because I like a red, and this is in the color Relentless from Avon, and that's the Avon Mattitude um, lipstick, so. And of course, there'll be a link for that in the description box because that's one of the requirements that I have to do um, through Octoly is I do have to link that. So that will be in the description box. The next product that I have to show you was also sent to me um, for review purposes from the brand Tula. And this is a brand that you can find at Ulta. And it is a skincare line that is made with 
All of their products are made with um, probi probiotics and superfoods, and it's a cruelty-free, <clears throat> I have to look at my notes, make sure I got everything, cruelty-free, and it's also not tested on animals. So if that's something that's important to you, then this is definitely a line, um, a product line or a brand that you could definitely be checking out that is can be found at Ulta. Anyway, this product here I was interested in trying because it is a um, overnight repair um, sleeping mask, which is product uh, a type of product that I like to use. I like to use sleeping mask, and it's called the Beauty Sleep Overnight Repair Treatment. Here's the jar itself, and it's supposed to help boost your, your firmness and target um, lines and wrinkles, fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it has reveal a healthy glow overnight. It has alpha hydroxy acids in it. It has vitamin C. It has the probiotics that help with um, the glow and help to protect the skin. Uh, it has several, several strands of probiotics and I'm not even going to even begin to try to pronounce those for you because they are super, super hard, <laughs> the words to pronounce them. I can't pronounce them. Um, but this helps to leave the skin looking nourished and balanced. It's very hydrating. Um, it's formulated for all skin types, um, oily, sensitive, dry, but it's especially ideal for anyone that's seeking a more intense anti-aging treatment. Um, the delivery mechanism is especially nice where you don't have to dip your fingers into it. You just push the top here and it squishes it out like that, which I think all moisturizers and everything should be like this. Um, I don't think that that should add too much to the cost of the product. And I don't know why all companies can't do that, but anyway. And then it just puts the lid, goes back on really nice. And I have really have liked using it so far. Um, they say to put it on clean, dry skin, but I have been using it as my last step at my skincare regime. So I've been putting, on, putting it on top of all of my skincare that I do at night, which is how I use any type of sleeping mask. So, I don't know, maybe I should try and use it like it says to use it, but um, anyway, let me see what it says here on the box. It doesn't have any mineral oil, um, no parabens. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It has probiotics that calm the look of inflammation and help skin retain moisture. I do have very moisturized um, skin when I wake up. has vitamin C, help give the appearance of brighter, more even toned skin. Alpha hydroxy acids help to boost the appearance of skin's firmness and smoothness. Um, it's our most potent, potent treatment works to give the appearance of more plump, radiant, and youthful skin. Um, it has the highest concentration of probiotics combined with AHAs, vitamin C, and other superfoods helps to soothe the appearance of wrinkles, improve the look of dullness, tone, and texture. Apply on clean skin or after serum, yeah, which is what I've been doing. I've been putting it on after a serum, all my toners and essences, then a serum, and then I've been putting this on. So I've been doing it right. But I like it so far. It um, has a little bit of a scent to it. I almost, I almost detect just a hint of coconut in my nose. My nose hint is picking up just a hint of coconut. I don't think it has coconut in it, but that's what I get out of it. Um, it has a lot of ferments in it. Oh, it has shea butter. That's what it is, that's, and that's really high up on the ingredient deck. So if you have an aversion to shea butter, you're not gonna like this because that's like the fourth ingredient is shea butter. That's what I'm smelling is the shea butter. So anyway, so far I like it, and like I said, Tula is a brand that is, um, all of their products are made with probiotics, so, um, 
probiotics is really starting to come out as being really good for our skin, which we've known for a long time. It's good for our gut and good for the inside of our bodies. And now they're saying it's really good for the outside of our bodies. So anyway, those were the products that um, were sent to me for review. And also in the box of that came with the Tula here, were um, a couple of samples here and what I'm going to do with these little samples is I'm going to include the little samples with the giveaway so whoever wins the giveaway that I'm going to be doing will get these little samples so okay so now on to the products that I actually purchased which isn't a whole lot which is fine because I'm kind of I'm really trying to curb my makeup skincare spending because I don't I don't need a lot and if you could see my floor over there of all the stuff that I've pulled that I'm going to be um, trying to sell on my McCary um, store <laughs> page whatever it's McCary is a website or an app that you can go and create your own little page and you can put stuff on there to sell. It doesn't have to be just cosmetics. You can put pretty much anything on there and sell it. And um, I do have some cosmetics on there. I have a declutter video that I just need to upload. I just haven't uploaded it yet, but anyway. So, first thing <laughs> is eyeshadow palette. And I have a floor full of eyeshadow palettes that I'm getting rid of and then I'm buying another one. Anyway, this is the ColourPop Going Coconuts. And the reason why I bought this is because Natasha Denona has come out with a new mini um, eyeshadow palette. And when it came out, it's one of those that's $25. Everybody was saying that it looks like the same colors that is the coconut palette from ColourPop and I'm thinking well if it's the same colors as that as this and this is like $12 because it was on sale when I bought it you know I can get it for half price so I bought it so I don't know if it is or not because I haven't seen the Natasha Denona one in person because I haven't been to a Sephora or an Ulta in a really long time but anyway here's what it looks like I do have uh, my eye look created with this. I have this color here, which is a shimmer shade, which is called, I don't even know what this is called. What is this called? Coco Crush on the lid. And then I have, what is that? Colada, Culotta in the crease. So I just have this color here all over the lid which is the shimmer lid or the shimmer and then I have this in the crease so that's how I created my eye look today is with this color this palette here which I've been using it quite a bit since I got it and I do like it it is nice um, I've been finding though with um, some of the the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes because you know I bought that one at Ulta that I want, have been wanting for a really really long time that I did I, I did not like that one at all but these because I bought the one that was the smoke palette that I like and then I bought this one I think those are the only two so these this one in the smoke palette's been good but that one I bought at Ulta was not good so anyway but gosh darn it these these people come out with these kind of palettes like every day Holy cow. But anyway, I do like the Going Coconut one. And I've been wearing it a lot. The only thing is, my little palette, you have to really push it down to get it to snap. But anyway, do like it. Have been wearing it quite a bit. Did I need it? No, because I, do, I know I have all of these colors. All of these colors are in either my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes I already have. Or in my Viseart eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> I know I already have them, but everybody kept saying that this was the same as that Natasha 
Denona new little palette. So I bought it anyway. And then the other thing that I bought um, is off the NARS website um, because I do still get a pro discount off of the, the NARS website. And so for the month of December as our Christmas gift, instead of getting 30% off, they were letting us get 40% off. So um, I didn't go hog wild because um, you'll see a, that my declutter video, whenever I get it put up, that I have decluttered out of my collection a ton of NARS products. Anyway, so the only thing I bought was just some NARS um, eye lid primers. And one of them here is the one that I'm using right now. And this is, I've got to get my glasses on. I bought one of these. And it's the Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And this one does have the tint in it. It's the Tint Light. And I thought it would be a good um, color to um, kind of cancel out my eyelid. My eyelids, and I know I've told you this lots and lots of times, have like a tea stain on them. That's what that looks like. I don't know, can you, you're not even going to be able to, to see that. It's not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot of color to it, which is good, which is fine. It's very, very light. And I do like these, like these um, eyeshadow base from NARS. I think they're really good. Um, and they're not really sticky or tacky. And I feel like they really help with, with the eyeshadow um, stain. Now, they don't work for glitter, glitter stuff. I do have to use my um, Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance, I think is what it's called, um, for like the glitter type eyeshadows to stick to. And then the other two that I bought are um, the same thing, it's just it's the clear one. The Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in I think it's just a, I think it just says clear. I think that I don't think it has a collar to it. I'll get it out here in a minute. Yeah, it's just a smudge proof eyeshadow base and it doesn't have a color to it. And I bought two of those because I just finished one and I do like it. See, yeah, see it doesn't have a color at all. It's almost white, but not quite white when it goes on the lid. It smooths out and it's not really a color. <laughs> God, I'm rambling. I haven't filmed a video in a while. Not since like the first of the month. The first of January. It's the last time that I filmed a video. Okay, and then I have um, a product that was given to me from my daughter. Um, and this is from Ciate. And it is the confetti highlighter. But for me, there's no way this is going to be a highlighter. <laughs> Looks like this right here. Um, but it's too glowy to be a, um, a bronzer. I don't like bronzers that are real glowy like this. So I've been using it for a blush. And so she gave this to me, which there's a swatch of it. See how um, glowy it is. Yeah, so I've been, I can't use it for a highlighter, can't use it for a bronzer, so I've been using it for a blush. So, there's that, and um, she actually gave me two. So, the giveaway is one of these, the Ciate Confetti Highlighter, and what's also going to be included in that is going to be those little Tula samples. So, in the description box um, to enter the giveaway, one of, one of course is the giveaway is just for here in the United States. I can't do international. Um, the shipping for international is just too, it's, it costs too much. I just can't do it. So um, just put in the description box 
um, what product do you have in your collection that you do not use it for what it's intended for? Like, you know, this one's supposed to be a highlighter, but I, you know, I don't use it for a highlighter. I use it for a blush. So just tell me a product that you have that you like, but you don't use it for what it's intended for. So that's how you're going to enter the giveaway. And of course, you have to be a subscriber, of course, and um, tell me a product that you have that you use, that you like, that you don't use it for its intended purpose. So there we go. Alrighty, so now let's get to the giveaway winners. Um, for the products of the giveaways that I had at the toward the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. So I'll start with the one that, um, where, where did my list go? For the mugwort um, video, um, I was going to have two winners for that video, but I really only had one person that entered the, the giveaway. So that is going to be Karen Knickerbocker. So Karen, um, send me your mailing address and I will send you out your mask. So if you're thinking, well, I didn't know there was a, a giveaway for that video. If you did not watch it, go back and watch it because I have another tube of this mask to give away and it's the mugwort mask if you're interested if you want to go back and watch that it's a mugwort um, video that's the last video that I put up so there's still time that you can enter the video because I have one more of these that I could give away but this one is going to Karen so Karen Knickerbocker you won the mugwort mask okay for the share perfumes um, which this one is the one that I had opened. So I have one that is brand new, still in its original box here. That looks like that right there. And this one here is going to go to Donna677. And the reason why I selected her was the song that she picked that she told me um, to enter the giveaway for it was that you had to tell me what your favorite share song was and her song that she picked was dark lady and i was not familiar with that song at all so i had to look it up and for one i liked the um the video the costume that share um, wore was kind of a purpley color a bluish color that kind of was the same color as as what this is the perfume of this so it kind of matched this for one thing and the lyrics, I had to look up the lyrics because I wasn't familiar with the song. And basically, it was about this girl. Uh, went, she was in New Orleans, and she went to a fortune teller. And um, the fortune teller told her that the man that she was in love with was in love with someone else and that she just needed to just leave town. So she goes back to her room, her home, and as she's laying there and thinking about, you know, what this fortune teller tell, had told her, the perfume that the fortune teller had been wearing, you know, she's thinking, you know, that perfume, it was familiar to her that she had smelt that perfume before, and then it hit her that the, the reason why she had smelt that perfume before, that she had smelt it in her bedroom, and the reason why she had smelt it in her bedroom is that she had smelt it on her man. Well, then she knew that um, her man was messing around on her with the fortune teller. So she gets up, gets her gun, and she goes and she finds them together. The fortune teller and her man, they're together, and she ends up shooting them and killing them. Anyway, and so I just thought it was kind of ironic that first, you know, the costume that Cher has on, you know, was kind of the color of the perfume. There was a perfume reference to it, and anyway, so that's why I picked, picked Donna 677 for the winner. 
of that perfume. Now this is the perfume that I open to test out for the review and everything. Um, personally, it's not to my taste, and so I know I'm not going to use it. Um, it's just been used a little bit. So, um, and for you 2000, if you would like to have this bottle, if you would um, give me your address, I will send you this bottle. And the song that she picked was Turn Back Time. If I could turn back time. And um, I like that song because, of course, I like the video to that song. I think it's a really good video and everything. Okay. Whew. So that wraps up everything. Um, winners. Um, product reviews that I needed to do, what I've purchased, a new giveaway, and the boys. Okay, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed. Don't forget to enter the giveaway if you're interested, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.